Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome to the secondary episode of this new series that I am discussing and ensuing about the secretive things that I keep right here. And I have decided to, you know, lay it out here on my podcast. So as we were discussing in the previous short segment skit that I did on the industry of modeling, more specifically, the OnlyFans industry and how it's mm, toxifying the model, the real commercialized fashion, whatever, the whole, entire industry of modeling, okay? OnlyFans is corrupting the entire industry itself. just want to let everybody know that because we're going to now discuss that more in depth. <laughs> Welcome back to Live Trials. Hello. So... OnlyFans, OnlyFans. So actually, when I got published by Maxim, I had to do everything possible to hide that situation. And I don't even know what I was trying to hide. It really wasn't I wasn't trying to hide anything. They already knew that. But it was just the perception that is just not looked good upon, even in you know, contractual obligations that I have as a model with my publication, with the magazines and the editorial and all that stuff. And because at the end of the day, it's not, OnlyFans is not modeling. It's a social media platform that is utilized for content creators to profit on their image, you know, and they do whatever it takes to, I guess, make it money, you know, but, um, I get there is this taste and this kind of goes into this publication aspect. So following up from the last skit that I did, the models that are trying to utilize the status of being, oh, I'm a Playboy model, but they actually have never been published in any magazine and do it as a cover up. That's fraudulent and that's corrupting the actual industry itself. That is really bad. And it's causing this backlash to the industry and those who do not engage in all these other type of, you know, or it's more film, adult film oriented, like dominatrix. I've heard of, um, you know, adult, actual adult film content production, whatever people are using the label of being a playboy model as a cover up to those actual i guess projects that they do you know cont are those projects of content creation i don't know i don't care i don't judge anybody once again because i have to emphasize this probably a few times throughout these next few skits because i personally have a lot of friends that are in these other industries i have the utmost respect for these people i love them i you know, I respect them wholeheartedly. I do business with these people. This has nothing to do with the individuals itself. This has to do with the corruption that is, you know, infesting the industry itself. Okay. Because at the end of the day, when you are clear and concise about what you produce and what you're here to bring, there's a difference between that type of individual and one that is, you know, using the perception to you know, ultimately deceive others. And that's, and then in turn, that causes the corruption. It's infesting the fucking industry. You get me? So it's, it's just weird, you know? And I'm a very direct person, as everybody knows that. And I'm just, you know, honest and upfront about how I feel about shit. And I think that these are very important topics of conversation that need to happen and what is bothering me the most is also this new um segment of modeling that is called like ig modeling influencer modeling okay so one thing that i don't understand right there's this brand called bang right so they're like a sports industry oriented energy drink they supposedly you know endorse athletes yada 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 whatever and then when you look at their inf like their influencer type segment, I've seen on Instagram a lot of their actual athletes have fake abs. They have etching-oriented surgeries done. 
Um, they have their ass done. They're super anorexic. I mean, full of tattoos. At the end of the day, this has nothing to do with those people that have decided to do those things in their lives, right? But we are talking today more about this perception of deception-oriented environment that is infesting the envi- I mean, the industry. I was about to say environment. The industry of modeling, you know, and. I think that if people were upfront and honest about what they're trying to pursue and their goals and stuff, because if you ask the, the, you know, the next IG model, what is your goal with modeling? Barely anybody has an answer. Seriously. Like nobody has a fucking answer, you know, ask me that. And I have a lot of answers for you. Okay. And it's like this sense of seeking validation through who can do the most absurd images and get the most likes you know with the crotch shots whatever i'm extremely guilty of taking such pictures right and at the end of the day what is the purpose of that nothing i have no purpose in doing that you know but that was after the fact of fulfilling my purpose in the industry, if that makes sense. I didn't start and put my foot in the door of this industry until, like, really with that type of modeling. I started with publications, being featured, published on the cover of multiple timeless magazines so i don't know i just want people to have like something bigger with with respect to their purpose in their pursuit of their goals in this industry if that makes much sense i don't know maybe i don't make much sense but who knows you know i just feel like this whole new ig thing whatever like you have brands like bang who promote this shit and say yeah this is real athletic oriented physically fit people and in reality that's not the reality of that like tell me give me a body that's naturally fit who works out all that stuff and they're promoting the brand right but then they have these influencers that are they have a fake body and They are entitled to have that body. I'm not judging them. I'm judging the brand that is deciding to promote the sense of, okay, I have this specific product. This is to promote this specific issue, the health of an individual and how this is, you know, organic, naturally done. These people are working out. But then you have this body type promoting that. It just conflicts with the whole thing. You get me? Um, but they also do have an enormous amount of naturally fit models. But what you see on IG is doesn't fit the brand's object, like their objective and their goal in persuading people who are, you know, in the world of fitness that please drink my energy drink because this helps you be more physically fit. I don't know. Having a person with a fake body. Having them promote that, you know, objective that this is a fitness-oriented drink. We're here to promote the lifestyle of being healthy, being, you know, consistent, determined to, you know, achieving a goal. Going to have surgery to skip all of that is not that same objective, so... That's the problem with the industry. It's just, it's so weird, bro. You're sitting there like, damn, man. Why can't I be hired by these people? And I am working on five days a week, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I mean, I am, I am, I am. Nobody calls me. So stay tuned, please, for the next skit that I'm about to do that continues into this new little series that I started about my thoughts that I have decided to lay out here on my podcast.